Welcome, Marcus. Uh, great to have you here. Tell us a little bit about Verisent. Hey, Will. I'm happy to be here, and thank you for having me. Um, Verisent, we're committed to building and delivering solutions that help revenue leaders drive growth. And we do that primarily through the incentive compensation plans they set up and deliver to the sales force to motivate them to succeed, and the sales planning they put in place ahead of time to address territories and quotas that they're going to also hand down to incent those salespeople to succeed, allow them to succeed, and obviously allow the organization to reach its revenue goals. And our newest solution, sales planning, uh, helps sales and operational leaders prioritize the right investments, um, have smarter goals around their territories to be able to maximize their revenue potential. And sales planning is the one that leverages Mapbox's capabilities to provide a very robust, visually driven, high value experience for territory planning and management for our customers. Got it. Um, you know, I think when I think about sales, it's it's I know it's one of the toughest jobs out there. Um, why are you you know focusing specifically on sales planning versus some other phase of the sales process? Like, why is planning such a big area of focus, and and what are some of the challenges that you see there? It's um, planning is like a hugely critical part of the go to market strategy. There's obviously more elements to it, but without planning, the rest of it's just a bit of guesswork. And for us, like that planning includes account segmentation and scoring, quota and goal setting, territory assignments, even your seller capacity. How many do you have? How far can you spread them and so forth? And when you build these plans, you're deciding how to focus the seller's efforts to then deliver against their goals, which are frankly the revenue goals of the organization. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know, planning to a degree is something that every organization does with sales. But the reality is like getting them right, getting these plans right with all these different variables is extremely difficult. And even if you get them right, given what we see in volatility today, it, it still requires change. Like changing them throughout the process is even harder. And when you look at the stats, like 80% of sales and operations leaders, their planning is like a top priority for them. But then, you know, subsequently 75% of them admit that their sales plans aren't delivering. So everyone agrees that's important. Mm -hmm. it seems like a lot of people don't feel like they're doing it very well. Um, and to give you a sort of example, like if you build a sales territory based on geography rules, um, which a lot of our customers do before they sort of talk to us, uh, you need sort of, you need mapping, you need to know your territory definitions, are they still the right ones? Is your sales team primarily selling to customers remotely? You know, they can do it by Zoom and all that sort of thing. Uh, when you sell a leaves an organization, what do you do with their territory? Is it time to rearrange it? Um, previously reliable customers might sort of not need your solutions anymore. You sold out that territory. You've got to switch that up. Um, and then there's, you know, new customers entering the market as well. So you sort of think about all these things that just keep happening. It's a dynamic problem. It's not a set it and forget it one. And they're tough problems to solve. Um you know, so this planning problem, is it is it a problem for everyone? Is it a universal problem? Uh, is it specific companies? I'm curious what you're seeing in the industry. Is everybody sort of facing a, a similar challenge universally? There's definitely like universal trends that I think have accelerated the priority of um, effective territory planning um, and quota planning. And you can sort of see like generally companies will be prey to all of these or even one of these driving this kind of need for better planning. Um, the disruptions that we've seen, I think, you know, everything's sort of turned upside down a bit. We're a company ourselves that was sort of focused on hyper growth. We're switching to profitable growth. And I think a lot of change is happening out there across industries with just the fluctuation in the economy. Um, go to market complexity. Um, sales teams and their roles have evolved quite a lot over the last few years. Obviously, during the pandemic, a lot of people that were used to face-to-face -face went remote. Um, there's new selling models. Uh, people started up channels more effectively. Um, just deploying those resources to cover the market in a cost-effective way is crucial as well. And there's just lots and lots of other things that fold into that complexity. If you have a BDR organization, business development reps, they sit in marketing, do they sit in sales? How are they incented? How do they work with marketing and so forth? So that is a big deal. And then the other one is talent churn. Um, we're seeing this a lot amongst our customers because we focus on sales and operations leaders and we focus on that seller effectiveness through the incentive compensation or the territory and quota planning. 
one of the things we're picking up a lot is now this need to retain talented staff, the need to be able to identify talented staff ahead of like a tombstone event, like did they succeed or fail? Um, and then conversely, or I should say just the other side of that coin, is treating them fairly, giving them a territory in which they can succeed, giving them a quota at which they can achieve success and stay and be incented to grow with the company and obviously achieves the company's strategies in terms of revenue growth goals. Got it. Yeah, some of those like macro effects, I mean, are, are impacting multiple areas of the business, but I could see there'd be an outsized impact on, on sales and sales productivity. So um, it's great that you're building tools to uh, to improve and address some of those problems. I'm really curious to get one level deeper into how location plays a role. How are you leveraging location and, and sort of empowering sales organizations to uh, deliver those sort of game-changing plans powered by location intelligence? Yeah, so it's, it's a critical part of it. Um, I mean, we say it quite commonly here, when you're doing the sort of location, when you're doing the territory planning, what you're really doing is Kind of identifying the customers that's what you're doing like well, who are the customers within that territory that you're going to go after and that territory planning and management is the heart of the sales plan um, the mapping capabilities embedded in our solution from mapbox are, are really critical to our customers to be able to do that properly um, and it solves it by being a visual capability right it helps sales leaders and the others that they work with because sales leaders don't do this in a vacuum typically to be able to quickly build map-based territories, design and balance those territories and optimize their market coverage. And it also gives faster visibility to where and when problems turn up. Really cool. I mean, I think uh, equipping customers with, with that level of location detail is, is exactly what we're talking about when we're saying, you know, making better decisions with data. I mean, how, how what, what more important decision is like where, where you have your sales team go and focus and, and take care of your customers because at the end of the day, customers are one of the most important things that business can can have. So, really like uh, that that the mission of of your company is to drive sales productivity, and and uh, I think the the benefits are are there for for customers as well. Any any parting words of advice for for the audience here at, at Mapbox Build? Um, yeah, I think a couple of things. So, regardless of the expertise or the team being supported by someone out there listening to this, like. When you're building a map-based solution um, to deliver real value, there's two things I think people need to keep in mind. One is like data, as you mentioned, right? Being data-driven is definitely you know the the thing to be doing rather than guesswork or gut experience and stuff. That still has some relevancy, but it's got to be built on data. And everyone struggles with data. Um, everyone struggles with getting it, preparing it, analyzing it, understanding it, interpreting it, blah blah blah. I, so if you think of territory planning and management, if you're just doing it at the data layer, you're dealing with zip codes and potentially street addresses, and that is impossible. It's impossible to do it as a cross-functional exercise as well. And the visualization that comes out of Mapbox is uh, really what makes that just completely different, completely much easier. It's not even a hump you have to get over. You immediately move to the questions of relevance, such as, you know, do we have the right customers in the territory? Will we succeed? Are we drawn the right line? Instead of wait, what is that? Where does that line up? Are those two zip codes next to each other and all that sort of uh, waste of time? And I think that leads into the second thing, which is user experience. And that's really what I just sort of mentioned there. And it's the ability to work together and to understand things quickly. I think in, you know, when I first started in software, we talked about walk up usability and mapping capabilities within territory quota planning and management give you that walk up capability. Amazing. Marcus, you've really given uh, me and, and I think the audience uh, some some things to think about when it comes to uh, building tools that incorporate uh, location for decision making. But also, you know, uh, it's it's the time of year for planning. We're all planning for next year, so a lot to think about as we as we uh, go and build plans for productivity uh, in 2023. Thanks for joining us, Marcus. Thank you, Will. Cheers.